of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and the peace of our good Lord be with you always. Dear friends, today we acknowledge that our true treasure, our true worth, is always to be found in the Lord Jesus. So let us ask God to help us focus on that and remember that through the forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, for our sake, you became poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And in your poverty, you enrich all your brothers and sisters. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you call us to find our wealth, our value in your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promise, which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because you are haughty of heart, you say, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet, you are a man and not a god. However, you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw your, their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. Then they shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their names from men's memories had I not feared the insolence of their enemies feared that those foes would mistakenly boast. It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand has won the victory. The Lord has nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put 10,000 to flight? unless it was because their rock sold them, and the Lord delivered them up. 
It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people, and his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty, you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, well, who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. Peter said to him in reply, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of glory, will yourself sit on 12 tribes, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or lands for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The apostles were uh, infected or affected uh, by what passed for the prosperity gospel of their time. Uh, they assumed that people who were wealthy and, and powerful uh, were somehow blessed by the Lord and, and, and a favorite in God's eyes. And those who were struggling, those who were middle class, those who were poor were not quite as blessed or important or beloved in the eyes of God. And Jesus needed to, to preach this to them over and over and over again in so many ways. Remember uh, the story he told about the poor widow and after they saw all of the uh, important people putting gold and silver into the temple treasury, who did Jesus single out? Not one of them but a poor widow who put in two coins worth about a penny. Our wealth is not in what we have, not in what we can buy or sell, not in where we live, not in the status of the parish that we pastor or belong to. Um, our wealth is that we are loved by the Lord. The apostles are incredulous. They say, who can be saved? And the answer that Jesus gives applies to us as well. Uh, no matter what we think stands in our way. For people, it may be impossible, but not for God. For God, all things are possible. So God love you. Let's come now before the Lord in prayer. We begin in prayer for the whole church asking God to look with mercy and kindness upon our Holy Father, upon our Bishop designate as he prepares to come and serve as pastor of the Church of Cleveland for all of God's people 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, we pray for our young people who have left for college. We pray for those beginning school soon here, either long distance or in classrooms, for their teachers, for their family members, for school staffs everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask God's blessing upon those infected with COVID-19, for their anxious family members, for all who live in great fear and worry. We pray for those who are isolated, especially those in prisons, the boys and girls in the Juvenile Justice Center, for our parishioners who are shut-ins or in hospitals and nursing homes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have died, for Charles Betrin remembered at today's Holy Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, for every one of your intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, God of mercy, accept these prayers. Grant what we ask you. For we have prayed again in the name of Jesus, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty always, everywhere, to thank you, Lord, Holy Father, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you have now formed it anew. So it is right that your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints bless you. So now we extol you with angels as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. So do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Charles and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray together as the good Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our good Lord be with you always. And as best we can, we offer the gift of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, here is the Lamb of God, the Lord, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word and my soul shall be healed.
our prayer of spiritual communion. Heavenly Father, I believe and profess that your Son, Jesus, is present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Today, I am unable to receive him sacramentally, but I know that he is present in my heart when I invite him there. And so I do right now. Remind me that he is my wealth, my treasure, that all that I need and want is in him. And never allow me to be separated from him. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to serve and love our Lord. Thanks be to God.